Do you see this puzzle in front of me? Yes, I can see the circular puzzle with the rotating rings and symbols. Some of the symbols on the outer ring do resemble zodiac signs. It is possible that this puzzle is related to the zodiac. Oh shit. I hear you said, oh shit. Is there anything you want to tell me about it? <laughs> no, I just accidentally closed the game. One second. Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, in this video, I thought it would be kind of fun to play around a bit with Google's new AI tools that they've released in the past month or so with Gemini 2.0. Uh, so this is available in the Google AI Studio and it's free to use. So if you wanna go try this out for yourself, uh, I'll leave a link in the description, uh, but you can see kind of the main screen here. Uh, and there's now this feature where you can share your screen with the AI uh, and it'll basically watch what you're doing on your computer uh, in real time. And then you can you know ask it questions or uh, interact with it in a variety of different ways. So uh, my mind immediately went to, can I have it watch me play a video game? Uh, and then it would understand what I'm doing, what game I'm playing, you know, perhaps give me tips or help me solve a puzzle or something along those lines. So I tested this out with five games, uh, just a couple different use cases, starting off with Black Ops 6 Zombies. Uh, then I played Original Doom, uh, then a little bit of Black Myth Wukong, and then I wanted to see if it could do like a puzzle game, so I tried Candy Crush Saga, and then finally wrapped things up with uh, Castlevania on the NES, uh, you know, just asking it like, what does this power up do, or you know, things like that, and did a fairly good job. Uh, obviously it's not perfect, uh, but the ability for it to vi like recognize visuals and understand what game I'm playing was pretty wild. So uh, you'll see a, a variety of different use cases as I go through the games. Um, so I'll kind of start again with Call of Duty, uh, and then make our way through the list. Hey, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you are playing a video game with zombies. Would you like to tell me more about it? Yeah, it's uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I'm on the Citadel Day More map. Okay, so you are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on the Citadel Day More map. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss about the game? Yeah, I'm looking at this machine in front of me. Do you know what this is? Yes, that is the Juggernaug Perk Machine. It is a power-up that increases the player's health in the game. Do you have any more questions about it? Alright, I've come across another machine. Do you know what this is? Okay, I see it. It looks like a Pack-a-Punch machine. <laughs> is that correct? Yep, that's right. How does that work? What does it do? The Pack-a-Punch machine allows you to upgrade your weapons, making them more powerful and adding special abilities. It usually costs a significant amount of points to use. Would you like more details? Do you see this puzzle in front of me? Yes, I can see the circular puzzle with the rotating rings and symbols. Is there something specific you'd like me to do or comment on regarding the puzzle? Yeah, do you have any idea how to solve this? So for context, I activated it by putting a ram horn in the center of the puzzle, but I'm not quite sure. I can rotate these symbols, but I'm not quite sure what I need to do to solve the puzzle. Okay, I understand that you activated the puzzle with the ram horn, and now you need to figure out how to align the symbols on the rotating rings. Based on what I see on the screen, there are two rings with different symbols, and you can rotate both of them. Perhaps the solution is related to the green triangle symbols that are currently visible in the inner circle. Can you recognize the symbols that are blue in the outer ring? Do you know what those might be associated with? Yes, I can see the blue symbols on the outer ring. The symbols include what appears to be a depiction of the sun, two wavy lines that resemble water, a symbol that appears to be two fish, and a symbol resembling a stylized bird. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's related to the Zodiac. Do all these symbols, uh, relate to the Zodiac in some way? That's an interesting thought. Some of the symbols on the outer ring do resemble Zodiac signs. The one to the bottom left looks like the Aquarius symbol, and the one to the bottom right resembles Gemini. It is possible that this puzzle is related to the Zodiac. Would you like me to check more on that? Well, what, what symbol, uh, Zodiac symbol is associated with a ram horn? The ram's oh, horn is the symbol most closely associated with the zodiac sign Aries. Would you like me to investigate further how this could be related to solving the puzzle? Uh, yeah, one second. I gotta restart the puzzle. Okay, I see. You're gonna restart the puzzle. Let me know if you need any more help with it once you've done so. 
Okay, are you able to um, provide a picture of what the Aries symbol is for the Zodiac? I cannot generate images, but I can describe the Aries symbol. It looks like a stylized ram's horn, or the letter V with curled tips at the top. Would you like me to explain it further? Yeah, do you, do you see the Aries symbol um, at the bottom of the puzzle there? Yes, I see the Aries symbol at the bottom of the puzzle. It's the blue symbol that looks like a V with curled tips. Okay, um, so now the next part, the, the green uh, symbols in the inner circle, are those related to the zodiac as well, does it look like? The green symbols in the inner circle do not directly correspond to the zodiac signs I recognize. The two green symbols that look like triangles and another that appears like a stylized earth or water symbol may relate to other aspects of the game world. Um, well, are you familiar with these symbols, these triangles representing the elements somehow? Yes, I am familiar with the concept of triangles representing elements. The upwards pointing triangle often symbolizes fire, a downward pointing triangle can symbolize water, an upwards triangle with a horizontal line through it can mean air, and a downwards triangle with a horizontal line can mean earth. However, without more information from the game, I cannot confirm if this puzzle. Alright, it seems that the puzzle has been solved and you are now exploring new areas. Uh, no, I gotta, I gotta reset it again. Um, while we're doing that though, so which uh, element is associated with Ares on the Zodiac? Okay, I understand that you have restarted the puzzle and you have a question related to which element is associated with Ares on the Zodiac. The element most commonly associated with the Zodiac sign Ares is fire. Okay, and then um, what symbol represents fire then of the triangles? Okay, can you see what game I just loaded into? Yes, I can see the game you are playing. It looks like you're playing the original Doom. Yep, do you know what level this is, based off uh, what you see? Sure, based on what I see in the video, this appears to be the first level of the original Doom, which is called Hangar. Do you want me to point out any specific feature that allows me to tell that? Uh, yeah, if you want to, please. All right, the main giveaway that this is the Hangar level from the original Doom is that the level begins with a blue pool of liquid surrounded by a walkway. The level also has some distinctive wall textures and the presence of an imp in the distance. Would you like me to point out anything else in the video? Um, well, do you know, uh, are there like any secrets in this level uh, that I can get? Yes, there are secrets in this level, Hangar in the original Doom. There are a few hidden areas that contain some useful items. Would you like me to tell you about any specific secret? Yeah, where would I, from start the starting point of the level, where would I find the first secret? Okay, from the starting point of the level, the first secret is located by turning around and walking to the end of the hallway. There is a wall that is a different texture from the others, which you can open like a door by pressing the use button. Okay, so I've progressed a little bit far into the level, and I see this off-color wall I think you were referencing. Is this the secret? Yes, the wall you're looking at with the slightly different texture is indeed the secret you're looking for in that area. Did you manage to open it yet? Uh, not yet. What What's inside, if you recall? Yes, I recall that the secret area behind the wall you were looking at contains a shotgun, some ammo, and some armor bonuses. Would you like more guidance on finding the other secrets in the level? No. Uh, okay, so I found some armor. I didn't find a shot. What did you, did you say there was a shotgun in there? Yes, I said the secret area contained a shotgun, along with some ammo and armor bonuses. Based on the new video you sent, it appears you found the mega armor. Did you find the shotgun as well? I didn't. Uh, is that maybe in a different secret? The shotgun is in the same secret area you found the mega armor. In the video you just sent, you seem to be in a different hallway and not in that secret area anymore. Would you like me to re-describe where that secret is so you can find the shotgun? 
All right, I just went through the door to the final exit and I heard a noise. Does that activate a secret? Yes, the sound you heard likely indicates that you activated a secret. There is a secret exit to the level located behind the normal exit. Would you like me to tell you how to find the secret exit? Yeah, please. Okay, to find the secret exit, turn around from your current position at the normal exit. Then, look for a wall with a different texture than the others. You should be able to open this wall like a door, which will reveal a secret passage to the next level. Let me know if you need any further assistance. Okay, I don't think that's right, but I did find this area here, um, and this is where I found the shotgun. All right, it seems that you have found the secret area behind the normal exit to the level, but you didn't find the secret exit from that same room. The secret exit is located on a wall in that same secret room that has a different texture. Would you like me to provide more guidance on that? Uh, no, that's right. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the regular exit. Okay, can you see what game I'm playing now? Yes. I can see the game you are playing now. It appears to be a third-person action game set in a snowy environment. There's a character in the foreground with a unique, almost monkey-like appearance, standing on a snowy hill. Would you like me to elaborate on any details I see? Yeah, do you recognize who that character is? That character looks like Sun Wukong, also known as the Monkey King. He is a very popular figure from Chinese mythology. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is Black Myth Wukong. Have you heard of that game? Yes, I've heard of Black Myth Wukong. It's an action RPG based on the Journey to the West story, which is why the character is Sun Wukong. Is there anything else you would like to discuss about the game? All right, do you recognize this game? Yes, I recognize that game. It appears to be Candy Crush Saga. Uh, so based off of this uh, current screen, do you have any recommended moves that I should make? Based on the current screen, I would recommend trying to match the green candies on the left side of the board, as that would make a striped candy and clear a lot of the icing. Would you like me to make any more move recommendations? Uh, yeah, so like right now, it doesn't seem like I can align the green shapes. So what should my first move be here? Okay. It looks like you can't immediately match the green candies. In that case, try to match the blue candies on the top row, second from the right. That should give you another opportunity to match the green ones, as well as start to clear the board. Okay, yep, I matched the blue ones. Uh, what should my next move be? Nice move, matching the blue candies. Now, I suggest you try to match the purple candies in the second row. That will create a special striped candy that will help you clear the board even faster. Okay, I matched the purple ones, but it didn't give me a striped candy. How do you get a striped candy? My apologies, you are right. Matching those purple candies did not create a striped candy. You can create a striped candy by matching four candies of the same color in a row. For your next move, I recommend matching the orange candies to the left of the green ones. That should also open up more possibilities for future moves. If you swap the striped blue candy with the wrapped green candy, it will activate both of their special abilities. The striped candy will clear the entire row, and the wrapped candy will explode, clearing a large area around it, which could clear a lot of icing. Would you like me to give you other possible moves? Yeah, okay. So with that known, and based on what's remaining on the screen, uh, are there any other better moves that I should make? Based on what is remaining on the screen, swapping the striped candy with the wrapped candy is still the best move, because it will clear the most icing from the board. However, there is a format you can make with purple candies in the second to last row. That would create a striped candy you could use later. Would you like me to recommend what to do after swapping the striped and wrapped candies? Uh, all right, well, I'll take your recommendation, uh, and then we'll see what the board looks like after that. Okay, I recommend swapping the striped blue candy with the wrapped green candy. After that, I recommend matching the remaining four purple candies in the second to last row. This will create another striped candy that will be useful. Would you like me to continue with more recommendations? 
Okay, well, I, swi I swapped the wrapped and the striped candy, and that cleared the board, so that purple combination is no longer available. Um, so, I guess based off what you see now, uh, what would you recommend I do? Okay, now that you have cleared the board of the green and purple candies, I recommend that you match the orange candy in the middle of the second row with the other two orange candies. This will create a striped candy. After that, you should focus on clearing the remaining icing at the bottom. Would you like me to continue making recommendations as you progress? Alright, I'm playing a new game now. Can you see what that is? Yes, I can see that you are playing Castlevania. It seems to be the original game from 1987. Alright, so I just loaded into the game. Uh, looks like I just picked up some hearts. What do those do? Okay, it looks like you just picked up some hearts in Castlevania. In the game, hearts are used as ammunition for your sub-weapons. Okay, how do I get sub-weapons? I don't have one right now, it looks like. Alright, you can find sub-weapons hidden in the candles. You just need to whip the candles to break them, and sometimes a sub-weapon will appear. Okay, uh, then looks like some money dropped. Does that do anything? Yes, picking up the money increases your score. It does not affect gameplay other than that. Okay, thank you. How do I get health back? I thought the hearts would give me health. You can restore your health by finding a heart pickup. They look like larger hearts than the ones you use for ammo, and they will restore your health a little bit when you pick them up. Uh, are you sure? I don't think hearts refill your health in Castlevania. You're right, my apologies. Hearts are only used as ammunition for sub-weapons in Castlevania. To restore health, you need to find food items like chicken or other meat hidden in walls or candles. Alright, well I'm in this room now. Um, do you know of any, are there any breakable, breakable walls that might have some chicken in this room? There could be breakable walls in this room, but I cannot tell you definitively. You should try to whip at any suspicious looking walls. Often the breakable walls look slightly different, and some may even be hidden entirely. Keep an eye out for them. Yes, I can see the stage number is 03, so you are indeed in stage 3. Okay, I'm in, so yeah, I'm in stage 3 of level 1. So what's the boss of level 1? Okay, you are in stage 3, and I can confirm that stage 3 is not part of level 1. The final boss of level 1 of Castlevania is the Medusa. Would you like to know more about the boss in stage 3? Uh, no, that's right. Uh, so... Stage, like, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it seems you are getting the hang of Castlevania. Is there anything else you need help with or would like to know? Nope, that's it. Thank you, appreciate it. You're welcome. Have fun playing Castlevania. Well, hold on one second. I got, I just got uh, an item that has the number 2 Roman numeral. What does that mean? Okay, that is the double shot sub weapon. When you use it, you will throw two projectiles instead of just one. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun with the double shot. 